This is Mr. Coker, and uh, I'd like to uh, do a lesson on molarity. Molarity is a concentration unit that um, helps us when we have solutions of chemistry know how many moles we have. So this is part of our acid-base unit, and it's going to help us with our acid-base math. So we're uh, considering this to be acid-base math with an emphasis on the concentration unit known as molarity. So to put this in context, uh, remember when we try to do stoichiometry, we use moles, um, moles of solids or moles of pure liquids are calculated using grams. Moles of gases are found using liters, either 22.4 liters per mole or pivner. So then how do we find the moles of solute that we're using if we're using an aqueous solution, for example, of an acid or a base? Uh, let's take a look at uh, how we do that. It's uh, using molarity. You might remember that um, in lab, a lot of the solutions that we've used this year have had a number and a capital M next to them like a one molar solution or a six molar solution of hydrochloric acid. Uh, you might have assumed that the big M stands for moles. Actually, it stands for molarity. The moles of the solute for every one liter of the solution. So it's saying how many moles of solute there are in every liter of the solution. It's a concentration unit. So molarity uses capital M as its uh, symbol, and it stands for the number of moles of solute in a liter of solution. Now if we do a little rearranging, we find that we can solve for moles by multiplying liters times molarity. So if I, if I have a certain number of liters of solution, if I multiply those liters by the molarity, I will get how many moles of solute I have. If I want to know how many liters to use, I divide the moles I want by the molarity of the solution, and that gives me the number of liters to use. Now remember, liters are a thousand milliliters, and so since most of our volume uh, measuring instruments like graduate cylinders use milliliters, that's an important conversion to know. Let's talk about how we would mix a solution that has the proper molarity. Mr. Davis and I have to do this often for lab. Um, a particular lab calls for a certain molar solution, um, so then we have to mix those solutions so we can put them out for you guys to use. So how do we mix molar solutions? Well, we multiply the volume that we want to make, so we calculate um, how many liters we think will get us through the day for a particular lab. We multiply that volume by the concentration that the lab calls for in units of molarity. And by multiplying liters by molarity, we get moles of solute needed. So then we measure out the proper amount of moles, usually by weighing in the solid if it's a solid or uh, some other method if it's uh, not a solid, but we measure out the proper amount of moles and then we dilute with water and usually we use a type of flask called a volumetric flask. These come in various uh, units such as 100 milliliters or 250 milliliters or 1000 milliliter sizes and um, by simply filling uh, with water they sort of have this shape you see on the right um, very uh, wide at the bottom and narrow at the neck and they have a mark in the middle of the neck and if you fill up to that mark you have exactly the right volume of the solution. Uh, these appear to be one liter flasks and notice that by putting different masses of cobalt compound into these uh, flasks and filling with water up to the line that you get different molarities. The 2.9 grams gives you a 0.101 molar. Um, the 291 grams gives you a 1 molar. And the 1746 grams dissolved in a liter of solution gives you a 6 molar solution. So you simply uh, add the right amount of moles 
and then add the volume until you get the uh, water up to the level of the line. So notice I'm not adding a liter of water, I'm adding enough water to finish filling to a liter because the solute's going to take up some, some volume as well. Let's practice. How many moles of sodium hydroxide, that's a base because it ends in hydroxide, how many moles of NaOH, sodium hydroxide, are needed if you want to make 500 milliliters of a 2.5 molar solution of sodium hydroxide? Now the first step would be let's change the 500 milliliters to liters because molarity is moles per liter. So we get 0 0.5000 liters. Then we take the liters times the molarity and we find out that we need uh, 2.5 times 0.5, which is 1.25 moles of NaOH. So if I'm trying to make 500 milliliters of a 2.5 molar solution of NaOH, I'm going to need 1.25 moles of NaOH. Now let's talk about how we would actually uh, do that. Um, how many grams of solid NaOH should I measure out? Well, 1.25 moles of NaOH times the molar mass of NaOH, which is 23 for Na plus 16 plus, o, uh, plus 1 for H, uh, would be 40 grams and equals 1 mole. So converting moles to grams, I find that I need 50 grams of NaOH. So 50 grams of NaOH. Now let's figure out how to actually make the solution. I would take the 50 grams of NaOH and I'd put it in a 500 milliliter volumetric flask and then I'd fill it up with water to the line in order to make a 500 milliliter solution involving 50 grams of NaOH and then enough water to make the difference in volume needed to make the 500 milliliters of solution. Okay, what if I knew the liters and the molarity and I wanted to find the moles? Well, I'd multiply the liters by the molarity to get the moles. That might help me if I need to find moles for a particular um, stoichiometry problem. How many moles of HCl would I have added to a reaction if I added 400 milliliters of a 0.15 molar solution? So how many moles of HCl did I put in? Well, 400 milliliters is 0 0.4000 liters. And liters times molarity is moles, so 0 0.4000 times 0 0.150 is 0 0.0600 moles of HCl. Um, finding the volume. If you divide moles by molarity, you get liters. So dividing moles by molarity gets liters, and that helps me find the volume. How many milliliters of 1.5 molar HCl would be required in order to have 2.86 moles of HC, HCl? So let's say I have a problem and I want to end up uh, using 2.86 moles of HCl. My solution is a 1.5 molar HCl solution. How many milliliters would be required? Well, 2.86 moles divided by 1.50 molar is 1.91 liters. Uh, the question asks for milliliters, so 1.91 liters times 1,000 milliliters per liter is 1,910 milliliters. Okay, so that's how we do the problems uh, for today on molarity.